I was just glad that I, you know, I heard the crying and, um, you know, I was just, I was like, we're just kind of shocked. Right now at 7, a Durham deputy gives an emotional account of the nights he pulled two young children from a lake. Good evening, I'm Sharon Taswell. And I'm Sean Maroney. Thanks for joining us. This all comes after police say Alan Lassiter threw his three and five-year-old daughters into a pond near Shearwater Drive in Durham. Both are recovering in the hospital tonight. His seven-year-old son managed to escape and get help at a nearby business. WNCN's Maggie Newland is live in Durham with the latest developments. Maggie? Sean, a woman who lives here at the complex says she came outside and heard a man Sunday night wandering around the complex saying his son had run away and something was wrong with his daughters. She called a deputy who lives nearby for help. Both of them ended up coming down here to this lake. That is when she says they saw the two little girls and she says their hands were tied with shoelaces. It's kind of shocked. A Durham Sheriff's deputy is still disturbed by what he saw Sunday night. Deputy David Earp was off duty when he received a call to go to a lake near his home. When I first walked up, I, I heard a baby crying and I thought to myself, what in the world is going on? Then he saw two young girls. One kid above water crying and then I saw another one who was completely submerged in water. So I dropped some of my equipment and I immediately just ran in to the water and grab both of them. Police say the girl's father, Alan Lassiter, attempted to drown the children. Lassiter called 911 after police say he threw the three and five year old girls and their seven year old brother into the lake. The boy was able to get out and run for help. I just need the police. He's in the My daughter is in the lake drowning. The deputy says he then helped the other officers perform CPR on the younger child until an ambulance arrived. We worked on her for I, it felt like a good 15 or 20 minutes or so, and they, they put her on the stretcher and uh, took her off to the hospital. The children's father was taken to jail. In the 911 call, he said he suffered from sexual desires and couldn't get help when he asked for it. He now faces three charges of attempted murder. I mean, when, when, I, when I hear that, it's, it, it's sickening, and, and I'm sure there, there, there has to be something mentally going on with that person to do such a thing to their child or any child. And we're told both of those little girls are still in the hospital tonight, the youngest in critical condition. Live in Durham, Maggie Newland, WNCN News. Maggie, thank you for the update.